and we will go up to the ring in just a minute after we take a look at the tail of the tape here between these two fighters in our next contest. This is also a featherweight bout, the same weight division as our World Grand Prix. Let's go up to the ring and Ritus Kuzmenko. That the Finnish people are used to seeing this level of kickboxing. They're more likely to be watching ice Round hockey one. or wife carrying. <laughs> the wife carrying championships takes place here in Finland. But uh, here we go. Two very talented fighters on the big stage for the first time. I've just got a feeling on this one, Daniel, with their stats, that this one won't go the distance. I mean, if you look at Venelainen, um, three KOs from his four wins. Here's a man that you feel likes to stop you or go out on his shield himself. So you get the feeling with that equal number of wins and losses that he just goes for it. I think he caught a low shot there. And he's not really showing that he's in any pain. He goes right back to the head of his opponent. Yes, both men big at this weight, strong looking. Both men did make weight very well. Even if they hadn't, it wouldn't be a problem to cut it. Finland has more saunas than cars. There's over three million saunas. Uh, it's not a problem to find a sauna here in Helsinki. Oh, -ho! that one caught him right upside the head that time, snuck right through. And that's what I'm saying about Vena Leyland. I get the feeling that he likes to finish, he wants to, to give a show and get this over and done with. And, and his record shows that as he comes in. But he's got to be careful because Kurtila, that left hand as he comes forward from that southpaw stance, and he switches back to orthodox. But look how quick he cuts down the ring. Kurtila now firing back, pops him with a left jab. But that's all part of the ring craft. I love it when a fighter subtly walks you down and says, I'm in control of where this is fought. It's all psychological as well. He's controlling the range of this bout at the moment, Timo. Both men tried to strike each other at the same time there. I'm not sure who got the short end of that stick as Venelalen continues to cut down the distance here. And it's subtle pressure. It's subtle pressure, Daniel. It's, when you do that and you constantly cut the distance down for your man, he suddenly thinks he's having to work the whole round. Even if he's, he's not really, you get that feeling when someone's putting you under that sort of pressure. I can see president of KOK, Donatus Sibonitis, sat at ringside here on camera, having a very close look at this one. He's got to be happy with the matchup so far. I mean, they've been superb and... You know, both fighters have, have always had an even playing field, and it's been so well matched. And this is no, no different because although Cotillo is Whoa. under pressure, he constantly fires back. Benalalin always seems to have a little surprise for Cotillo. Well, he knew that back fist was coming. He was tucked up tight. He was ready for it. Popped him with a right hand. Low kicks going in now from both gentlemen. Die. End of round. Second round. Both men come running at each other like two bulls and then stop dead center in the ring. That time the head kick was blocked and again. And Kachila fires his own back and this is what I'm saying. He's growing in confidence. He's firing back immediately. He's responding instinctively Whoa. to Venelena. Both guys really starting to unload with the heavy artillery here. That left hand of Venelalen was the last one that landed in Landy Clean. Then he spins, and as you said, picking up nicely here in the second. Well, there's some hot action inside the ring in the world's coldest capital. And I'll tell you what, these Finnish fighters have a spotlight on them, and they are not disappointing in King of Kings tonight. No, they've really stepped up to the mark here. I've been so impressed with the technique and the ability. And with these two, they're, they're virtually mirror images of each other, Daniel. And this is the thing. They're, they are so evenly matched that each one has to think when he comes forward, what's coming back at me? And this is this is a real chess match. Beautiful knee there from Cartilla. Well, Cartilla in the red said before the fight, the decisive factor is going to be my speed and my explosion. 
I don't know if we've really seen that out of him yet. He's been very defensive. He looks to be picking it up here, but he just got caught with a couple of shots to the chin. If anybody, it's been Venelaylen who's been more explosive. That's right. This is the thing. Um, when you look to get up ahead of steam, your opponent comes back, and he took two strong shots there when he looked to initiate. And Ven Venelaylen, for me, is just edging this in every department on my unofficial scorecard, obviously. We don't score it officially, but I just feel he's that just that little bit sharper. Cartilla also said that the goal is clear a KO. That's what he said before the fight, and he hasn't really done that in the first round. A little bit more in the second round. I think both men have got the potential for it, and as you said that, Cartilla really started to push forward now here in this second round. Maybe he feels now is the time. I agree with you. I think that last 30 seconds, he's really started to try and put Venelalen on the back foot. And I think he needed to. It was good, it was good timing, a good internal clock. You see the face of Venelalen. He is gritting his teeth, wants to get down and dirty here in the last 30 seconds of round two. Oh! Whoa! Now, that was a beautiful kick, but <laughs> Katila walked through it, walked forward to minimize the damage, but I can still see this finishing if one lands really cleanly. That kick from the right side, the head kick, is always there. You never know when he's going to bust it out. Katela putting on a little pressure. Closing seconds now. Well, Van Leyland put himself off balance with that missed kick. And again, both fighters waiting for a break, not getting it. Nice. Separated themselves. That could be key, Daniel. See Van Leyland itching to get this third Final round round. on, and Cortella really taking his time out the center ring now. Tight guard for both men, as you can see. This this round is key. Cortella not backing down here. He's holding down center ring. Van Leyland has been dictating the ring generalship up until this point. Maybe Cortella wants to change that now. It's a good tactic because I agree with this. Is what he saw that um, Van Leyland was doing subtly and, and he's looking to change that it's a gamble but it's the right tactic if, especially if you feel that you might be the two rounds down well that right hand was from way back Taylor really swinging with conviction now well he's looking to counter that left hand with the overhand right putting on a lot more pressure now Looking for big shots, downstairs, goes upstairs, throws in a knee as well. That was nice, and as you said, what he's done is he's just taken that one step in and it's working for him. Look where he's throwing his technique now, so I'm oh, spinning back Oh my lord, fish. that one connected. Cartilla picking up the pace and it's paying off here in round number three. He's coming on strong, he's, he's taken that one step in, he's landing cleaner, he's landing closer. The impact's more, he's staying in the pocket, and it's, and it's Venelainen has suddenly had to readjust because he's not backing off. Everything's clicking, everything's working now for Henry Cortilla. Beautiful body shot on the round kick, and it's also in his demeanor, the confidence as well. Look how he's stepping yes. in now. And he may have caught him with an elbow unintentionally or a forearm there as uh, Venelainen was coming up with his head. That'll make your life just a little more miserable. Look at the face. Look at the face of Timo Venelalen. He is ready for a war here. Let's see if he can give it as good as he's been getting it here in round three. And I think that's what that face is for. He's been shocked by the difference in Curtila. And it makes me wonder if Curtila in the red corner had adopted this tactic earlier in the second round, what, what a difference it might have made because he's a different fighter here in the third. Look at the face of Venelalen. Looks like Curtilla just slapped his mother the way that he is so angry in there. Trying to dish it out now, but we're really gonna find out what kind of intestinal fortitude he's got with about 30 seconds left on the clock. And you're right, because this is the big third round for Henry Curtilla. He's done everything right in this third round. And look again, no backing up this time. He's staying with Venelainen, staying in the pocket, the body shots, and that was a grimace from that right to the body. It certainly was. Cortilla not backing down at all and having perhaps his most successful round so far. And the left hand rib cage of Venelainen now very red and bruised from the work. And there's the confidence of Cortilla. Oh! And an axe kick now! Time! Venelainen 
the last few seconds of that round. Bushido Angels stepping through the ropes, as is our ring announcer, Ritas Guzmenka, who will make it official momentarily. This is going to be an interesting decision, Daniel, I'm sure telling you. Ladies and gentlemen, Fightbox KOK World Series 2019 in Helsinki, live on Fightbox. KOK Super Fight. After three rounds by split decision, the winner is Red Corner, Henry Kurtila, Finland. He did it!